MLB The Show as interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Minnesota Twins. And now, you're All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now and towing the slab. Pablo Lopez. What do we need to know here? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Brendan Donovan stands in now and watches strike one. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. And a quick out number one. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. First pitch misses. Lopez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball. A changeup, a slurve, a curve, and he works in a sinker. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. It's no surprise they call this batter a day player. He statistically performs better in these games, and he's hoping for a big performance in this one. And that's in the dirt. the pitch hammers that one deep left field and forget it a gigantic blast and the Cardinals have the lead now it's one nothing that's Goldie for you he tends to make it bats look like batting practice from time to time Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this hit bat, was very patient, and it paid off. One out, base is empty. Now here is Lars Newtbar. Clips the corner. 0-1. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. One out, base is empty. And that's a fair ball. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of standing his mechanics. Run around at first with one gone. Here's Nolan Arenado. Fouled off. He was late. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly, it is nothing in two. And there's a ball. And a pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Mm -hmm. 
2 2 now. Stays alive. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. At the belt and fires. Just misses. And now three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And yeah, there's ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So one out with two aboard. Wilson Contreras will hit next. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in. You got to try to get another one or maybe two. And a pitch. And that one clips the corner. One run across in the frame so far. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Going to count one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So first and second with two outs. Here's Nolan Gorman. That misses, and that's ball one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Two outs. Off the mark there, and a count two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Just missed. Jordan Walker waits on deck. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Outside and that is ball four. Two walks in the first has to be some cause for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out free bases at this rate. Now a chance for Jordan Walker. That one in there across the letters. Tough start for him so far, already at 30 pitches here in the first. That misses the zone, and one and one. Fought off foul. Fouls it off, still one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one missed. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. And we're back. And on the hill, it's Sonny Gray. Power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity. And out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. Digging in, Edouard Julien. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. The wide to kick the pitch. Strike two. Oh, 
on the ground. Win fires to first on the run. One up, one down. Now the lineup for the Twins as constructed by Rocco Baldelli. Already trailing by a run in this one. They'll be looking to get on the scoreboard early on as well. Well, it's just the one run, so not too big a hill to climb. But, yeah, if they can answer back in this inning or at least in the next couple, that'll maybe settle everyone into this ball game, and that includes their own starter on the mound. Here's Royce Lewis. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Man at first. And next for Minnesota, Byron Buxton. There's the strike of the knees. Sonny Gray checks on the runner. Lewis dives back in safely. The 1 Comes up empty. That's strike two. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Next pitch is outside. And down on strikes. And there's two away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Now batting Max Kepler. Swing and a foul straight back. Ball one there. Lewis off of first with two away. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and... Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Well, now here's Carlos Correa with a chance to hit. Popped in the air. Left field. Walker gets under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Twin strand a pair. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Now up for St. Louis, Tommy Edmond. And the pitch. That one finds the zone. It's strike one on Edmond. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, and there's one down. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Mason Wynn. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. That's in for a strike. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. And one and two. Righty to the plate. Good job to fight that one off. Base knock center field. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. 
Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So the batting order turns over, and next is the designated hitter, Brendan Donovan. Donovan, a former Gold Glove winner, hitting leadoff in today's game, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2018. The 1-0. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Brings it in. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. He's already homered here in this one. Pickoff throw, and he's back standing. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. In there at the knees for a strike. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. That misses the zone, and now it's even one and one. And another ball. The 2 1. Wouldn't chase that time. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Out to center. Buxton moves under it. And that is that. The cards leave one, but they hold a one nothing lead. Bottom of the second, and here's the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Gray, back to work. And takes low for ball one. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. Up and in, two and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Righty delivers. And now it's filled up. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. The pitch. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And here it comes. And down on strikes he goes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. I guarantee he's going to check the tape on that last pitch when he gets a chance because he thought it was ball four, and he wasn't wrong. I mean, it was a close pitch. Definitely not an easy call, but especially after a long at bat, that'll drive you crazy getting rung up like that. Now it's going to be Matt Walmer. He's got it. Two up, two down. Batting eight, the catcher. Royal. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. Jeffers. That one finds the corner, and it's 0 and 1. And a good eye there. That one the other way. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Nothing doing here for the Twins. They're down 1 0.
Back at target field. All set for the start of the inning. And now the right fielder, Lars Newtbar. The wind of the pitch. And ball one. You know, these Cardinals showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. And it is two and one. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Right side, hard hit. Throw on to Santana. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Here's Nolan Arenado. He reached out a walk his first time. Though well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. There's a strike. It is interesting, though. When you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Kicks and fires. In the air, left field. And there are two outs. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Contreras now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Two outs, bases empty. He swings and fouls one off. Up and in, and the count one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. The pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. Julian slings to first, and that's the third out. Nothing doing there for St. Louis, but they still lead it one nothing. in Minnesota. Here's Alex Kirilov. The pitch. Just missed. That one is absolutely belted. Gone! And it ties it up. It's 1-1. That's exactly what this crowd wanted to see in this spot. He blasted that pitch. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And here is Edouard Julien. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The 1 0. Gray. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Let's see if he gives them anything to hit here. And he walked him on four pitches. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. And now for the Twins, Royce Lewis. One for one with a single so far. You have to be careful throwing and breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. Well, he's been good for the most part. 
Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? They're all partner. Every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great <laughs> show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Pitch misses there. Ball one. One on, nobody out. A run in here in the last half of the third. Next offering in there for a strike. One ball, one strike. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. And another ball. Way out front for strike two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Buxton swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. Julian leads off first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Just missed. It's a good take. Goes down looking. Max Kepler at the plate. And he's already singled in this game. Kepler. That's in there. That's strike one. The other way. Walker calls it in to end the inning. But a solo home run for the Twins. All even now at 1-1. You're dialed into the show. And we're back. Start of the fourth. And the batter now, Nolan Gorman. Here comes a pitch. Off the mark there. Ball one. And another ball. Good hitters count the 2 0. That's down and in. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. The 3 1. Hard hit left side. Correa over to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Jordan Walker now at the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. Pitch misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. Late on that fastball. And a base hit up the middle. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. 
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Tommy Edmond at the plate. He popped out to the catcher his first job on. And that's outside. There's a strike. Man at first, one away. The 1 1 is fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Lopez checks over to first, and he's back. Outside. Two two. Struck him out looking. So up next, Mason Wynn. Swing and a miss as he was late. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. And that one fouled off. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Top half of inning number four. Swing and a miss, and that is that. So one left for the Cardinals. Score remains deadlocked at one. Carlos Correa, the next twin up to hit. Not shortstop. Carlos Correa. And he deals. Fastball in for a strike. Going one. Correa. The former first overall pick from Puerto Rico back in 2012, and he blossomed into the American League Rookie of the Year in 2015. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Next offering upstairs. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. And the righty deals. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that one hops the wall. Now he'll turn for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Correa stands at second with no outs. Strike two. Got him looking. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure, hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0 and 2 and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. And now here is Matt Walmer just missed
All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Fastball for a strike. And there's a ball. And it's second. Ground ball up the middle. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and they can't get the out. And now the Twins catcher, Brian Jeffers. 0 for 1 so far. That one finds the zone. It's 0 and 1. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two on, one out. And a strike on the outside edge. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. 0 oh 2 now. In the dirt. Nothing happening on the bases, though. And the right hander deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Runners are at the corners, one away. And it's even up. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. At the belt and fires. Hard hit down the line and left. Can't get to it as it drops into the corner. Here comes the runner. Relay throw. Head first slide, and he's safe. Well, he was a little off balance. He got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good wood to this baseball. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. One out, runner at second. Alex Kirilov, the next twin up to hit. He's already homered in this game. Swung on, belted. Newtball going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now that second baseman, Edward Julien. So up next for Minnesota, Edward Julien. First pitch just misses. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. And a big swing and a miss. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. Smash to the left side. Over to Goldie. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the DH, Brendan Donovan. Lopez back to work. That one fouled off. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Here's a 1-1. Pulls that one foul. Battling here as he fouls it away. 
The wind of the pitch. Up the middle. A dive. Nice stop. Throws from his knees. And they get the out. Look at the commitment to make the play. Down on the ground from the knees. That's not just arm strength, guys. That's core strength as well. Look at that rocket across the diamond. Outstanding job. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. One for two. A little bit high. And that's ball one. Goldie, 36 years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, strike one. Oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Has a beat on it. Nabs it. Two away. And up next for St. Louis, Lars Newtbar. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Now one and one. And that one missing low. Two outs. Popped up. Correa is there. Corrals it. And that is that. And down in order go the Cardinals. Score holds. It's 3-1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Twins, Royce Lewis. And the right hander back to work. And that's off the inside edge. 1 and 0. Oh. That one way inside. In the air, left field. Walker makes the catch, and there's one down. The center fielder, number 25, Byron. Here's Byron Buxton, Buxton, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. When you examine Buxton's career trajectory, the thing that really jumps out, the speed and the defense early on. The wind and the pitch. There's the swing and a miss. And another ball. Swing and a miss. Had him way out front of the slur. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Two outs, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Max Kepler. First pitch, and he just misses. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning, number five. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. That's inside. And now 3 0. There's a strike. Left hand hitter waits. And that's ball four. Close pitch there, but you got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first, and then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout.
Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now Carlos Santana to the right side. Gorman throws on to first. And that will end the inning. Twin strand a pair as the lead remains 3-1. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here is Nolan Arenado. The third baseman, Nolan Arenado. The right-hander back to work. Nolan Arenado at the plate. Arenado, guy who delivers big-time power at the dish and will probably go down as one of the greatest defensive third. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. And speaking of that defense, it's hard to imagine that in high school, Arenado shared the left side of the infield with another elite defender, Matt Chapman, at El Toro High School in California. This one in the air. Santana in position. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Now Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. That one is upstairs. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. That one inside, two balls, no strikes. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics. Can't glove it cleanly. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. Well, it looked like a pretty routine play. Just couldn't get it to stick in the glove as he gets tagged with the error. Should have been two outs in the inning, but now they have to work around it and get two more. Man at first with one gone. Nolan Gorman next up for the Cardinals. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that is ball one. With the tying run at the plate. And we're the top half of the sixth. Next offering in there for a strike. Strike one. The pitch just missing there and the counts even at two cuts and misses it's a strikeout well, that was a really good job setting him up right there pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off with the fastball and even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted the sequence is what got the job done clearly they with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before Jordan Walker digs in now. Right through there for a strike. Foul ball there. Contreras, the runner at first with two gone. Ball one there. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Griffin Jacks preparing to come on if needed. Stewart, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. Ripped into right field, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. That's back to back singles for him. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws so two on with two away now up for st louis tommy edmund 
That misses the zone, and that's ball one. First and second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. That one almost got him. And the pitch. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Make a great catch like that. It's all about timing the jump. His timing was perfect. Excellent grab, and he comes down with it. The inning is over. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, John King. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Now the left fielder, Matt Walmer. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, to try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Movement in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Andrew Kittredge appears to be getting loose. Middleton getting loose as well. The lefty fires. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If he can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Kicks and deals. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Next offering is down low. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now batting. Ryan Jeffers, the next twin up to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Well, he saw that change up really well. Just a little early. Still barreled it. As you see, home run distance just couldn't keep it fair. This to third. Arenado to first. In time. Two up, two down. Up next to the play. Now it's the Twins DH, Alex Kirilov. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Well hit the other way. That one going back and foul. Just off the inside corner. Ball two. Two outs. Still two and two after the foul ball. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. On the ground of first, Goldie. The flip to the pitcher covering, and it's a one, two, three inning. Twins retired in short order, but they still lead it 3 1.
Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Jay Jackson. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here's the shortstop at the play. Mason Wynn struck out on just three pitches last time. And a pitch. And a foul ball. The pitch. The shortstop takes a ball. Ground ball left side. Lewis throws the first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Back to the top of the lineup. So now here's the Cardinals designated hitter, Brendan Donovan. That's a little bit low. Popped up left side. Correa is there. Makes the grab. Two down. Paul Goldschmidt next up for the Cardinals. One for three. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Pitch misses there, and one and one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The Cards trailing by two here in the top half of inning number seven. That one ripped. That's back there. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Three up, three down that time. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Twins three and the Cardinals one. Back at target field, bottom of the inning, and here's the Twins leadoff guy, Edouard Julien. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Missed with a changeup, and it's 1-0. Evidently not too impressed with that call, and it feels like he got squeezed on the outside corner, so he's making his case. you got to be careful to pick your spots in terms of showing your frustration with the umpire, and he felt this was his time. Makes the catch one down. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And next for Minnesota, Royce Lewis. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Base is empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And now two gone. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Slapped foul. Swings through that. Been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. 
This to third. Gathers and throws to first. That takes care of Buxton. And the Twins go one, two, three. Nothing doing here for the Twins. And the score stays three to one. Griffin Jacks into the game. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. The pitch. Popped up. Santana has this one sized up. Puts it away for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Nolan Arenado getting ready to hit. Jax, a righty that throws with power. 29 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2016. And there's the strike. And that's downstairs and outside. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. I oh, love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. And a foul ball. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Makes the catch inning over. Bottom of the eighth. Now the Minnesota cleanup hitter, Max Kepler. For the, twin, the right fielder, Max Kepler. King back to work. Swing and a grounder foul for a space side. Ground ball right side. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Now Correa up to hit. Hard ground ball, base down. So a man aboard Carlos Santana the next twin up to hit 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out and a weak ground ball to the left side off balance feed there's one double play and that'll do it for the inning no runs one hit no errors and no one left ninth inning coming up it's the twins three and the Cardinals one. Coming out of the bullpen for the Twins, Yoan Duran. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Gorman, the leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. And now it's even up. Left hand batter waits. Fought off foul. 
Right hander kicks deals. And another ball. Next offering is downstairs. Facing a closer that delivers big time velocity. Well, normally against a big arm with this kind of velocity, you look for the ball down because the fastball up is a little hard to catch up to, but he's shown really good plate discipline by not offering at that last pitch down. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Walker, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Ooh, Baya. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. Strike on the outside. And the count is 0-2. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Oh, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. So it's their last chance in this one. And here comes Tommy Edmond. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Here's your one. And ball one. Next pitch is downstairs. Just off the inside edge. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run and the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Two down, nobody on. And it's fouled away. The Cardinals down to their final strike. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Right-handed reliever. Rip towards third. Over to first, and that'll do it. And the Twins claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. 3-1 ball game, quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.